she's back! Hopefully. <laughs> As many of you know, there's been a few months without videos from Wholesome Roots. The fact is, things have been hard. Things have been difficult. My health took a dramatic turn for the worse, and we had a series of... Autumn, let's not stick your bum in the video. Come on. Turn around if you're going to be cute. Be cute. No bums. So in addition, to a dramatic change for the worse in my health issues. We also had some other major trauma impact us, ranging from health issues with the goats to my health issues and dealing with those and trying to find answers to trauma within our family, trauma on our homestead, trauma in our lives that has been a very personal, difficult struggle for us. But things have begun to turn the corner. One of the big reasons why things have turned the corner is because of the love, the kindness, and the devotion that many of you have shown us during our difficult times. But the beauty of it is we found new people in our lives that truly cared about us, that truly loved us and wanted to see us thrive, that wanted to see us be able to build a wonderful life and a wonderful homestead. As many of you know, I put out a call for help in the spring for garden work and it was a bit disappointing to see that nobody was willing to help. So that's when somebody stepped up. Somebody who was not asked to help us. Somebody who I never hinted at to help us. Decided that they were gonna take matters into their own hands and they created a Helping Hands Summer Soiree event. An event that was designed to bring the community together. Autumn, leave the microphone alone. <laughs> An event that was designed to help support people truly in need. This was an event that was truly designed for people who wanted to help one another and grow with each other. And I was very excited to see that there were people willing to come here to our homestead and help us rebuild our garden. During my sickness, everything got completely covered with weeds and there was no maintenance done in this garden for the whole entire summer. Which if you've ever had a garden before, you know that that's simply not something you can do. And normally, even with my sickness, I'm able to keep up with maintaining a garden once it is planted. But having all of the other issues that we were being faced with on top of being sick caused me to get even sicker. Um, stress and trauma makes Hashimoto's worse, as well as my other ailments. It made everything just worse. But the one shining light I had during it all was Mandy at Royal Amethyst Acres. She stepped up and she began organizing this event and she worked her butt off to try to get donations and assistance from other people and other homesteaders. And she created events for it and got the ball rolling so well. I will never, ever, ever have enough words of thank you for Mandy. She is truly the heart of this community in sense of truly caring and wanting to help people from a genuine place in her heart and not for selfish reasons. So thank you, Mandy. I owe all of this to you. But I can't go without saying thank you to some other people too. I could not possibly list all the people I wanna say thank you to. So I'm just going to touch on a few right now. And for the rest of you, you know who you are. You know that you helped. We had um, 
a wonderful seed company, Mary's Heirloom Seeds, donate a huge amount of seeds for our fall garden so that we're going to be able to plant the most amazing fall garden ever. And thanks to the help and the work and the support from people um, that came out and physically helped, we had two, well, actually three other homestead channels. We had Constance from the Cosmopolitan Cornbread. We had Ellen and Will and their children from Wild and Wonderful. And we had Auburn and Ian from Little Bird Farm. So I'm gonna leave links to those channels down below. I'll leave a link to Mary's Heirloom Seed. I'll leave a link to Mandy's channel, um, Royal Amethyst Acres. Um, this is not an all-inclusive list. There were some amazing helpers that came out that day as well that don't have channels and a huge thank you to you guys um, and then we also had people who made donations in the form of goods or or assistance so that we could make sure that we were able to feed everybody so I really want to say a big thank you to you guys that helped make this possible and made sure that we all stayed hydrated and well fed during our strenuous work of getting this garden into shape so, luckily, I got a few clips of the event, and I'm going to go ahead and show you here how this all came to be. Autumn, Autumn, we got to switch to the clips now. You got to get out of my garden and stop eating things. Oh, wait, you can eat that pecan tree. That's okay. You can eat that. Loading up that trailer. I'm gonna 
Yeah, we can stop loading it for now. I'm gonna, I'll take it and do it. Uh, I'll yes. dump it and I'll come back and we can fill it up again and again. Wow, guys. I didn't know we had this many weeds. <laughs> like, I didn't know real. that we had this many helpers. <laughs> this is it's incredible. Awesome. Oh my god. Venison neck roast. Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for dinner. But first, we lunch.
just go straight up to everybody real close to the face. Oh, wait. Flashlight. That's a blind each part. Yeah. Let's just put the flashlight under our face. Like the spooky. <laughs> it's like the Harry Potter. You actually might be able to hold it behind you and yeah. legitimately get some. Somewhat better. <laughs> Photo bomb. <laughs> it's a video bomb. <laughs> 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 this is in all the shots. <laughs> video, a video of another videographer making a video. <laughs> So once again, I just want to give a big thank you to everyone that came out and helped participate. And for those of you that shared the event and sent us well wishes and prayed for us and supported us, whether it was emotionally, financially, or physically, we truly appreciate the great blessing that you've bestowed upon us and how you've shown true friendship and community. And we will never be able to repay you for this. So I just want to hopefully share with you how much my heart has truly been lifted up by this. Some of my big issues have been mental health and this has made a huge impact on my mental health in a very positive way. And for that, I am grateful. I am grateful for all of you and I consider you all family now. So, thank you. What the men folk work on around here at Wholesome Roots. <laughs> this is what we get our men folk to do. <laughs> what you guys working on? I'm building a throne. A throne. Yeah. What kind of throne is that? <laughs> you know. You know what kind of throne. It's the best kind. <laughs> it is it is the best. Well, you, can go, you can go unwind and, and reflect on your day. <laughs> Right, right there. People I would say no people, but less people. I have kids. I know better. <laughs>